Okay, you should be able to hear me now. Hello. Hello. Okay, I think that's working. That's not creepy at all. Give it back! You... You are not ready! 
So make me ready. You risk everything. You understand nothing. You care for nothing. Then you've taught me well. I cannot teach one who will not learn. I cannot teach one who still will not be himself. I'm sick of your riddle. I'm sick of your rules, old man. You've never given me anything. You've never given me anything. I gave you the chance. You didn't. I gave you the chance to be anything. Oh, okay. But first, you must want nothing. You must learn to become Don't nothing. Say it. Nothing. No, you're nothing. Oh. Master? A visitor? A customer? No, a new face, but familiar. All the same, perhaps they came to change their face here once before. Yes, long ago when the shop bell still rang. Oh God. An ancient and powerful mask is calling to you. See yourself. Synchronize with the mirror. Back Once, there was an old mask maker, the last master of a magical trade, owner of a renowned mask shop. Every year, his masks would transform the town. Children could play the monster beneath the bed. Lovers could discover themselves and each other. The old could be young and new, and the young. Hold on. It's not full screen. Could even seem wise, all only for a night at carnival time. But amid the revels, the mask maker was alone. He feared that he would take his secret knowledge, the three ancient laws of carnival, with him to the grave. The fashions change, and humans find ever new ways to change themselves. And few wanted to learn the old secrets of paint and pasteboard. all kinds of faces. One day, oh. a boy with no name arrived at the shop. A boy from the streets come looking to steal anything that would fit in his pockets or his mouth. A boy from a hard world who had already worn many masks. The old man offered him a choice. Return to the streets, pockets empty, or stay and learn the craft of masks. The boy saw his chance. The old man saw a clean slate, a pure heart, who could become okay, a great him. mask maker. The master's mask is dangerous. 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 <laughs> you can already tell there is much more to this shop than meets the eye. Explore. Find the hidden door. They are not ready. We must trust the workshop awaits them. They move near the workshop. Perhaps they can feel it. Can they feel it? What happened here?
Oh. Wanted to smack the pipe. A white pawn. All the other pieces are missing. Chess was the only recreation we permitted ourselves during the long days in the shop. Many pieces of our memory are misplaced since he changed the rules. You will find pieces of our memory along your quest. Look around the shop. There is a riddle to open a secret door. glowing scene. Seek the right symbols to find the hidden door. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so there's weird circle things, triangle, square. So, circle. place for such powerful magic. Breathe it in. The paints, the paste, the wood. You'll use this dummy head to hold masks as you work on them. and combine your colors. Hmm. 
First, you need to find a plan or design for your mask. A blueprint. your new power. Each blueprint like this allows you to craft one new mask. You will need to create many of them to master the art. Trust the blueprint. Place it on the carving bench. We'll get to that soon, don't you worry. Oh. So this is the decoration of the painting. We're in... Carving. From this, you can create a new self. Yes. Now, trust the tools. The mask is there, within the wood. Right, I'm gonna swap the desk mode. This room is not made for VR. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Hold on, that's my cable. Let's come around here. Good. Let the chisel guide you. Clear your mind, my young friend. Thank you. 
excellent work. Now put the carving in its own special place on the main workbench. The Mask of the Islands. To wear it, you must be open. You must defy isolation. Uh. Oh. There. This one base carving will be the source of many masks. Oh. You have learned a little of the mask maker's magic already. Now, follow the blueprint to the left. Generations of mask makers have learned this craft before you, step by patient step. Until he came along. Ah, yeah, I'm too close. Okay. So need to be straight up red. Um, do I have a paintbrush somewhere? Okay, I don't dip it. A new face. <clears throat> Welcome, apprentice. I am King Prospero. You must be looking for me. How Has I... my fame spread so far? I am janitor, landlord, and supreme monarch of this humble realm. Yes, look around. Uh, a little misty today, perhaps, but... That is not so unusual in the far feather islands. Well, first lesson. Masks are the gateway to this place. Try taking off the mask now, and then... They return. Shh! They have met the king. Good. There you are. Feels good, eh? <laughs> Now, onwards, let's start our journey. Try not to break anything. I've just got the place the way I like it. Still and quiet. Ah, I admit these islands have a certain tumble-down charm. Now, are you feeling watched? Yep. Do you see that figure on the next island over? He wears the next mask you must craft. You will need to take a closer look at the mask. Did you spot an old spyglass in the workshop? Did I? They're back. 
one last. I did not see that. The spyglass, the gift of seeing and being unseen. This is a crucial tool for a mask maker. Ah, oh, you have found my faithful old spyglass. <laughs> Keep that close. You will need it. A mask now. Hold your breath for a second. Yes, got it. A blueprint. Now, that is a sight I've not seen since. <laughs> See, this has the same base mask as the one you wear now, but with two of those white clasp shells on the top. You will find the components for your mask somewhere around here. Each mask is a part of the realm, so you will have to forage for components to build each new mask. Search around for white clasp shells to make oh. this one. Okay, I'm looking for shells. Hopefully you can hear me. Please let me know if you can't hear me. Can you hear me?
Hey, that looks like one. Oh, did you feel that? Once you have found a new component for your masks, like this white clasp shell, then the workshop will always have a ready supply. Uh, such is the magic of the mask maker. Right, okay, so. You're welcome. Actually, actually, if I don't have this plugged in, it's going to lose charge pretty quickly. You will need those white clasp shells you found for the new mask. A new blueprint. How long has it been? The base is already there for you. On the bench, near the paint. Now, craft a new mask, starting from a plain one. The first one will only be useful to come back to your first location. Remember, each mask has its own purpose. Come, come. They have a mask to make. Ah, white clasp shells. Damn it. Trash it. Okay. <gasps> uh, there you are. Oh. That was uh, fast. <laughs> well, how does that new body feel? Hello. Look back over at where you arrived. You may see the body you were wearing before. Strings cut. Oh, yeah. It was awfully convenient when I first arrived. These days, it's the only way to get around. Now. Find my next subject, and possess it. Let's go left first. You'll find these elders' statues spread across the realm. Just relics of the old ways. 
ignore anything you see or hear when near them. Keep your mind on your apprenticeship. Follow my gestures and find me. My tower is close. Can you see what this one wears? Use the spyglass controls to zoom in. This is the marks of the far feather merchants, great traders and travelers. See, the mask requires two different components from different lands within my realm. Now your apprenticeship truly begins. Forage for components and find my subjects wherever they have been left. Craft their masks, mask yourself wisely and borrow into them to move through the world. Once this realm had another ruler, old, jealous, and unwilling to share. But now it is mine, and I grant you passage through it. The people of this land used to cultivate shell pearls in that cave. the lever to lower the panels of the map. It's time you saw the entire realm. Wait, what lever? Oh, that lever. Well done! 
Now you can reach different areas throughout the realm. New blueprints, new designs. You are ready for the next stage. Two of the components you need will not be found around here. You will need to explore other parts of the realm. A mask maker must travel far and wide for components. You will have to explore other lands to find what you need. Disappears, a new land to explore. A new face is revealed, and with it, new destinations are discovered. The Mask of the Swamps. To wear it, 
You must be proud, love thyself, but do not allow vanity to take root. The Burlard Swamp, home to some of the rarest components, the most secret masks. It was so beautiful here once, but a foulness has taken root here somehow. Twisted roots from the Flintbra tree, poisonous of course, but they're also used for medicines as well as masks. See the basket at his feet. This one wears the mask of a gatherer. The roots on the top of his mask are there to scare predators which once lurked in the swamps. Simple but effective. not concealed. It is an open window. It reveals. It transforms. As you see, the power of the Mask Maker is very useful. A king must survey his realm, after all. Especially since I first retreated to my castle and the bridges began to crumble, their bodies to grow still.
An alchemist. They harvested the various poisonous products of the swamp for potion making. You'll need iron grass shoots to make this mask. My swamp-dwelling subjects, the inhabitants of these swamps, were masters at creating dyes and medicines from the noxious effluvia of the swamp. They even traded with the people of the forest above. But their time is long past. A shoot of iron grass, essential for masks of the forest and swamp, and it adds a, a little note of freshness besides. <laughs> You are in the service of the mask. The riddle is to know what the mask expects from you at the moment you wear it. I've seen this basket before. Anyway, this will come in handy. Let's get to work, potion maker. <laughs> Memories. Uh, of course, I always mixed all my potions correctly the first time. But quickly, apprentice, try again. The potion is some kind of fungicide. Have you looked at the recipe?
Notes from the surgeons. My old master's sickness grew slowly, so slowly, that I barely noticed. Perhaps he masked it from me out of care. Love, even. But I was not ready when the mask fell. Follow my gestures and come to the tower. Find the truth. Another of the Elder's statues. Always being dormant, useless for me. Honor my posture. Love thyself, but deny vanity. Follow my gestures. Come to the tower. Your power is growing. Hmm. Follow my gestures and come to the tower. Find the truth. I'm not there. That building there, that looks promising.
smells like a bit of a mishmash, but I think this will be effective on the fungus. Lost the fungicide bottle? <laughs> Don't worry, there should be another back where you first mixed the potion. Beautiful mask. This is, or was, a tower guardian. The towers are silent now, of course, but the locals always reserved the most elaborate masks for their guardians. Of course it lacks true mastery, true craftsmanship.
Don't worry if you put the fungicide down somewhere and lose it. Another will appear back at the potion mixing bench. Go back to where you first made the fungicide. There will be more. A theatre announcement. My old master did speciality work for the travelling players who had come to town, but he never allowed me to see their shows. He said their magic was different to ours. Well, naturally, I snuck out to see, but hiding among the ropes backstage, I could only see the sweat and the wig strings, not the masked performance. 
Not until I saw the actors emerge afterwards and greet the audience did I understand. Their masks were worn beneath the skin, and they never took them off. Be careful. A mask always asks more questions than it answers. 
the mask of the mountains. To wear it, you must know thyself and fight against the shadow of oblivion. Uh. I can feel the power. Perhaps you shall be the one to heal the realm. Ah, the Zephyr Peaks. When I first came here, the air was the clearest I had ever smelled, and the ringing of the chimes, the singing of the shepherds from mountain to mountain. Well, a king cannot play favorites, of course, and this should be a place for a clear mind, for solitude. I saw to that. The windmills still turn here mostly, but my children are helpless without instructions. A feather of the red heart bird. At least, that's what I always called them. My predecessor didn't leave many clues. This windmill once moved the cable car, but looks like someone has started to repair it and left the place in disorder. As a lever, you need to hold it down.
Success! Industry! The wheels of the world turn once more. This one is from the village in the valley below, I think. It must have been stuck here since... I don't know how long. A wooden dummy. A plaything given me by my old master, and containing about as much human feeling. He told me I would understand one day how a wooden face is the best friend to a mask maker. I think the old fool had forgotten more about masks than he ever knew about children. I think I'm going to leave it there for today.